when the cannabis dispensary Yerba opened on Cesar Chavez Avenue in October, customers had sticker shock, Guillermo Mainyvar, the general manager, recalled. Even with a 30% opening week discount, shoppers still couldn't understand why, for instance, a gram of first-class funk cost $15. They could be forgiven, until Yerba, the first legal dispensary in the city's Boyle Heights neighborhood, opened its doors, the only options in the area were unlicensed storefronts that charge far less for cannabis products because they don't abide by the raft of taxes and regulatory obligations. Am I least of Main Yivar's clean, brightly lit business, in fact, an unmarked and unlicensed shop had put a folding sign out on the sidewalk that read, for 5 grams for $20. Inside the dimly lit room was a bare bones array of grimy mason jars piled high with bargain priced buds. The continuing success of illegal cannabis shops and the struggles of legal ones in the heart of L. A. East Side offer a stark illustration of how California's legalization of marijuana has gone wrong. Far from being eradicated, the black market is booming in plain sight, luring customers away from above-board retailers with their cheaper, if untested and unregulated, product. Unlicensed dispensaries have become hotbeds of crime. Sometimes the operators are the perpetrators, authorities say, selling cocaine and methamphetamine alongside cannabis. At other times, they are the victims. In August 2021, a man was gunned down in the doorway of the illegal dispensary he ran in East Los Angeles. Authorities have made little progress in curbing the cannabis black market.